Ladies and gentlemen, literally the craziest thing in the entire world has just gone down. Basically, a couple of days ago, I got a message from my good friend, Drake and Rose, and he was like, dude, all throughout the Asian region, so like China, Hong Kong, and a few other countries, the Pokemon TCG of Sword and Shield has released two and a half weeks early. Bruh. And then literally my main man, I think, uploaded the world's first video to do with Pokemon Sword and Shield, so I'll link him down below. And then this bad boy's rocked out to my house. I am not kidding at all. Um, I don't know what to say. It's so... Uh, this set got here so early. The set list hasn't even been confirmed on any website across the internet. So we are dealing with some, like, absolute crazy stuff right here. I'm hyperventilating just looking at it. Oh my gosh. Alright. So this is already a really, really big deal because it's the base set of Sword and Shield. Just like any um, first iteration, like black and white, first iteration uh, X and Y, it's always a big deal getting the base set. It's always the one that's going to go up in value, the one that everyone wants. Um, this is the box right here. Starts off with the Zacian in the front. Then we got Zamazenta. Then we, oh, then we got a Lapras, if you can see that. It's like a V-maxed form. Still got the cool Pokemon wrapping, which is pretty cool, and a VMAX Snorlax. That is such a nice card. I can't wait to see what these VMAX and V cards look like in English. And then on the back, start a new journey and meet new Pokemon V. So yeah, getting you excited about the brand new Pokemon cards, the brand new world we're about to embark on, and guys, does it have a barcode? Yes, it does. <laughs> You guys always get weird around the barcode. I'm sick of it. Even new products. Gee whiz. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. Let's see what a uh, booster box has to offer. I'm probably going to split this into two parts so I don't die um, all in one. So we'll open the first half of the box now. And then in 24 hours, make sure you stay subscribed to the channel. We're trying to hit 2 million subscribers this year. So that would mean the world. But if you stay subscribed, in 24 hours, I'll upload part number two. So let's get the seal approval off. And let's see. Is everyone ready? First ever, make sure you demolish the like button, because this is my first ever time viewing the set. I have not seen anything. Beside my boy Drake and Rose, this, oh my gosh, it looks sick. I have not even seen the artwork. That is epic. So here we go. That's what a booster box will look like in your uh, store. Gosh, that is cool. Okay, so I'm going to put that one back there, and let's get out our half a booster box right there. Holy, it's like a um, burgundy color or a maroon. Really odd. It's not quite a brown. It's not quite a red. I'm a take it nevertheless. And is everyone ready? Let's get this party started with our first ever Pokemon Sword and Shield base set booster pack. All right, everyone sitting down. Let's get this thing started. I love that. Nice white tinge. I don't even know if the card trick has changed. So it could be three from the back, could be four. And I don't know if they've fixed the code card. So I'm not sure if this means a regular rare. Dude, we're like one of the first people in the entire world to open this up. So let's go forth in the back. Hope for the best. Oh, no way. There's new energies. This is going to be crazy. So we've got a brand new. Oh, oh, wow. The borders are like a much lighter yellow. Dude, this has changed. This has changed 100%. Bishop right there. Then a Salazzle. You can even see the uh, border around the energy. Yo, everyone, yo, pre-order a box immediately. I don't care where from. Just make sure you definitely do it. Because you've got to at least sample. The cards are a little bit thinner as well. Goldine, Roselia, Gasly. Dude, I wonder... I just, oh, no way! They changed the reverses! Raw and Static Shock for Yampa. Can you see that? Look at that. All of these electric... And that lined it up with the uh, electric world earlier. And then, Turdinator. That is sick. Now, as I said, the set list hasn't even been confirmed. No one knows what the entire set looks like, right? It's um, 202 cards. Is the gold card in here? I wonder. We'll keep going. If you guys know any more information, leave in the comments for part number two. I'll read all you guys. Go <sighs> guys, I reckon they did the codes again. Don't tell me that. So this one's a white and green. And if we get something, it means, yeah, the codes are a dud again, which sucks. I really would have hoped they fixed that for Sword and Shield. Oh, well, that's okay. Dub Wall? Dude, Quillfish. This is crazy. Especially because I just started, well, I just sort of finished playing uh, Sword and Shield. But I'm like, fresh off that into the cards. It's perfect. I'm obsessed with this background, by the way. 
How good do reverse cards look now? Rhyhorn? Oh! Wobbuffet V card is our very first ever Pokemon V card. That looks so shiny. It's like aluminium, it kind of looks like. All around here is a matte finish. Um, It's a little embossed, not insane though. It's a, I, I gotta say, bit more high quality than a regular GX card that I'm used to. Not too bad at all. There we go, guys. <laughs> Wobbuffet V card is our first ever Pokemon V card. Gritty comeback and shadow bind with 70. Put you at the back. We'll go, we'll do a recap. Um, and then tomorrow we'll do a recap of everything. So back to a solid green, which I think means it's going to be a regular rare. So I'm giving away all those codes, but I don't think you can actually cash them in until the set actually comes out. But you can give it a go. I don't know. Let me know if it works. Galvantula. Galarian Pokemon. They're all going to be in here. This is nuts. Tootle. Blip Blug. And then we're going to hop. Look at that. Pokeballs for trainers by the looks of it. And what do we got here? Regular rare Snorlax. Eating all the berries. The poor little berry farm's gonna go broke. Snorlax is there. I should be showing off the artwork too. So, Lapras right there. I'm also very, very curious. What is a ratio gonna be like in a um, booster box? Like, how many V cards, how many V Max cards, and how many full arts and new rainbow rares do you get? So far, I mean, pretty good. We've opened what? A couple of boosters, already got a V card. Pikachu looks good there. We get a Wooloo, and then we get a Shoulder, Krogunk, and then regular rare Sanaconda. That's okay. See? Zamazenta right here. I reckon if we can get one of the mascots, either Zacian or Zamazenta, I'm going to be all good in the hood. All right. Another... Yo, I want... This is another white and green, so we're going to get something. I really want another holo card, because they've got that brand new type of holo, so it'd be pretty cool to start our collection right here. Raboot! That's a good pull. Um, I can't think of anything else. I mean, any VMAX is going to be sick. Grookey reverse. Oh, I forgot about that. Hashtag Grookey gang. Everyone leave it in the comments. Go for it. And then, Sanaconda holo card. That is, I have, oh yes, nuts. We just got the regular rare version. Now we got a holo version. You can see all the lines go through the artwork too. Wild. What do you guys think of these new, like, holo designs? Do you like them? Do you prefer the old one? Maybe, like, I don't know, X and Y style? What's been your favorite holo type? Besides base set, everyone always chooses base set. Not too bad. Send it to holo card. So that's our second white and green, I guess. Let's keep mowing through these. It'd be really, yeah, I'm fascinating though, like what an average ratio would be. And it's also interesting to know, it is fourth in the back still. It does have a very similar feel, like you're definitely, this hasn't changed the complete game. It's very, very similar to everything you've known before. It's just the cards, if you like, if you do it a lot, you do notice small things. Score Bunny though, guys! The absolute beast himself. Rillaboom Reverse! That's awesome! Alright, Whimsy got regular rares. <laughs> These regular rares. Okay, I, yeah. Disappointing they did the code cards like that though. And what's anything else you guys are keen to find out about the set? Let me know as well. I should send all these into PSA, get them express graded or something, they'd be blown away. I don't think that even takes it's too early. Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Pikachu. I think Rainbow Reds are probably like a good thing to go for because they went for a stack in Japan. Dreadnor Regular Rare. So any ra any Rainbow Rare, any VMAX. It's gonna be pretty cool, but I think just seeing the new Pokemon cards is enough for me to be honest. There's another code card for you guys. Let's go forth in the back. Unlisted Leaf Energy, there we go! Look at that absolutely glorious glow the Unless the Leaf Energy has. Always fantastic. Okay, put that to the side. It's a special one right there. Rare Candy. Lucky Egg as well. Alright. Is there any Pokemon everyone is obsessed with getting besides Grookey? Pokey Kid? That's pretty... Oh my! It's a Galarian Rapidash. you got to keep in mind as well, this is a combo set. So the one we opened in Japan, right, it was um, Sword, then we opened Shield. And it was exclusive Pokemon or whatever games were exclusive to the games. With the English one, we don't get two sets. They just sort of slap them all together, make this ridiculous 202 card set, plus all the secret rares as well. Yeah, we're going to get a real cross section. So, ooh, regular rare Corviknight. Nice. It's just me with like these bottom things a lot thinner. Or is that just miscut? Nah, it seems like the bottom's thinner, the tops and the sides are actually bigger. Weird. I don't know. I, again, I've opened so many Pokemon cards, I find the weirdest things different. I'm like, yep, that's big. 
Okay, four from the back. Unlisted Leaf Energy again. Always a good sign. Bishop. Then we got an Incense. Vulpix as well. Beltoy spinning like a Beyblade. We've got Krabby. Rare Candy Reverse. Roserade. Regular Rare. Alright, Zamazenta. It's time we pull. Either a Zassian or Zamazenta. No way! Another Solar Green. Wow. It's going to be ruthless, is it? The base set isn't going to hold up. They're going to make you buy a lot of boosters to get good stuff. Great Ball, Potion, Chinchou, Krabby. Or I have actually heard, you know, Dragon Rose, my friend, right? He didn't get... He got really good stuff out of the booster box, but not fantastic stuff out of the pre-release kits. Regular and Lapras. And I know someone else who got absolute poop on the pre-release kits. So, it wouldn't... Like, look at this. Another regular rare. It wouldn't surprise me if the pulls are very, very hard to get. But then again, I would like to think he guaranteed some good stuff in a booster box. I don't know, we'll see. Got a Krabby as well. Grookey Gang, that is a good artwork. Mod Bray with the Pokeballs. Looking good, hoot hoot. And then, none other. Wow, we are doubling up already. That's okay. Maybe part two will have the goods, or maybe the ending. The ending of part number one is going to come through clutch. Give us something stupid. Look at that. That is a nice fire type energy. So let's get you down. We've got a quick ball as well. Let's say you catch a shiny Pokemon. And then we've got a Hoot Hoot. Not too shabby. Volpix as well. Are doubling up on all of these commons and uncommons. Baltoy. Then after Glossfur, we've got Paul T. Geist, which is literally a pot of tea. VMAX Lapras. You look epic. Come on. I want to find the sparkly card with the extra lot of glitter. I am obsessed with how those rainbow rares and those VMAX are going to look in English. Four from the back. Literally, have all we got is a hollow and a, oh no, then a V-card. Hitmonchan, great ball. Then we got Cotney as well. Chootle. Got a Rhyhorn. Rookity. And then a Raichu. Regular rare. Mind you, I'm not like, I'm not mad at the choice of regular rare Pokemon. They are good Pokemon. So it's like, you know, building my collection. Here we go. There, I knew it. It would amp up towards the end of part number one. Everyone got their seatbelts on. Everyone demolish the like button. Let's get this party started. Heat more. Metal Saucer. Rockety. Got a Krabby as well. Grookey. Mudbray. Quillfish. Reverse with a uh, Hollow Toxicroak. I, rem I literally remember pulling this in Japan. Fascinating. I just remember the whole color being hollow. It's so weird seeing it English now. Toxicroak. So our third one. We got three boosters left. And that's it. For part numero uno. Open up that, swing it around, and ladies and gentlemen, we've got another white and green code. Got a water type energy right there. Got old Drizzle. Then we got Pokemon Center Lady. That's a good artwork. Then we got Ghastly with a Roselia. Okay. Pony Ride. What does everyone think we're going to get? Please be a glitter type Pokemon Maractus. And then, dude, we did it. We pulled Zamazenta V card. One of the mascots. That is epic. I am absolutely psyched about that. Definitely was really, really hoping for something to do with the legendary dogs. And the fact we got a Zamazenta V on the first part. Oh, this is cooking up. This is going to be so spicy, this opening. All right, Zamazenta V card. You go at the back. So far, two hollows and two Vs. What a flipping ratio. All right, Snorlax. I love this artwork, by the way. I would be obsessed if I can nab him as a actual card. Because, yeah, that artwork on the boost back looks sick. Swing it around. There's another code for y'all. Fourth in the back, and then we this is our second to last booster. Then the next one's our final one. Darkness type, then a Pokemon Center Lady, Energy Retrieval, then a Yampa. I love Yampa, man. I played with him on the first ever shot I got at the demo when I went to Pokemon Worlds. That was like, I played the demo with Yampa and was obsessed with him ever since. Okay, it's the last one. No pressure or anything, Lapras Man, but this is the last booster of part number one. This, oh, it's all going down right now. This is a big deal. Open you up. Oh my gosh, I am just so excited. There's the code card. Four from the back. Swing it around. Unlisted Leaf Energy. Then we're going to Poke Kid. Energy Search. Team Yell Grunt. Shootle. Blip Plug. Then we're going to Rhyhorn. What does everyone think? Do you reckon it's going to be something ridiculous like none other than another V-Card? That makes three for the entire part. Sableye V-Card. Look at his shiny eyeballs. Alright, let's do a recap of everything we got in the first half of the booster box. All 
Alrighty, guys, so pretty much starting off, uh, you know, slowly but surely, I think part number two is where the goods are going to be. I reckon this half of the box, all of these boosters. Make sure you stay subscribed. I'll put the link in the description below if you're watching this later on. If you're watching it when it first comes out, stay subscribed. It'll be out very soon. But you know what? First part, I'm happy with the pulls. This is my introduction to literally the base set of uh, Sword and Shield. Holo Toxicroak, Holo uh, Sanaconda. I reckon that's, yeah, probably my favorite Holo. It's out of two Pokemon. Then we've got Wobbuffet V card. It's a nice one. My first ever V. That's going to be a uh, special place in my binder. Then we've got Sableye V as well. But easily, I think, the best pull of the whole episode. A nice legendary Zamazenta V card. What do you guys think? Can we get Zacian of any sort of... Any Zacian at all? Can we manage to get it in part number two? Definitely thumbs up the video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment. What do you think of the base set? What do you think of these new cards? Are you excited? Are you a little let down? I don't know. Up to you guys. Leave a comment. Have a fantastic day. Most of all, above everything else, gonna keep on gaming. Alright guys, next on the sleep video. See you then.